name's Peter Bolton. I'm a third generation dairy farmer down here in Gippsland. Next into the tank, a boy from the bush. With an invention, his tipping will end up on farms all over the country. This invention, it was designed to make life easier on the farm. We manufacture our product uh, here on, on the dairy farm and we've sold them throughout Australia, New Zealand, the US and the UK. There's been some tough times along the way. Developing and, and growing this technology for me is like following a, a rope in the dark and maybe if I can get one of the sharks on board, I might shed a bit of light on the journey. This is a big moment and you know, to do a deal would totally change my life. <laughs> uh, Yeehaw! Hey, look at that! Whoa. I love it. Oh, oh look at that! Bit of high. Whoa! Oh, I oh love look at that! Love it. Nice hydraulics. Great entrance. Well done. Wow. Well done. <laughs> G'day Sharks, my name is Peter Bolton. I'm a Gippsland dairy farmer. I'm also the inventor, owner and manufacturer of my product here called the Rat Barrow. And today I'm seeking a $200,000 investment for 25% of my business. This product was designed to fill a need. My wife Michelle and I, with our large farm, uh, 15 horses, large garden and two fireplaces, we're constantly dealing with material handling issues. So. After tinkering in the workshop with some second-hand ride-on lawnmower parts, I designed the world's first ride-on articulated tipping barrow. Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So that's where the rat comes in, ride-on articulated oh. tipping. So oh, Ride-on articulated right. tipping. tipping. That's You've correct, created yeah. your own product category. You're bloody fantastic. That's um, awesome. <laughs> Since launching the business in late 2013, I've manufactured and sold 280 of these units. Wow. Well done. Um, I've sold them throughout Australia, New Zealand, the US and the UK. Oh, mate. Uh, uh, yeah, well done. Yeah, well done. That is Thank fantastic. You. I believe the Rat Bar is the answer to an international problem. I have a patent in Australia and New Zealand, uh, the US, and is currently pending in Europe. I'm seeking an investor who can spot the growth potential in this product somebody that can help me take it out of the on-farm workshop to a larger manufacturing facility with the capabilities of meeting the big market, which would be the US. So Sharks, she wants to get behind my helpful little rodent here. <laughs> oh, very good. Well done. Give me a go at it, come on. Say no. Everyone get back. <laughs> I might be a natural. <laughs> now, what's, which was forward? Yeah, just there. Forward yeah, that's it. Back. Yeah, just be just gentle. And, what's uh, top speed? Uh, oh, uh, 10 kilometres an hour. 10 kilometres an hour. Okay. okay. Don't be too smarty pants, you. There you go. How do you get off? <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> oh. <laughs> You're a funny guy! <laughs> uh, Don't play with toys you can't play with. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look at you, Batman. Okay, so Peter, that's uh, two hundred thousand dollars for twenty-five percent. So you're valuing your business at eight hundred k. So tell us a bit about your background. You said you're from Gippsland. I'm um, Gippsland. Uh, great. Is that part. where you grew up? Uh, yes, I'm a third-generation farmer. Wow. Heavily involved in horses. I'm a retired bull rider. So that's. Oh, <laughs> <all right. laughs> you're a retired bull rider. Yeah, yeah. How do you get on the back of a bull, and then you know if they get you off, it's going to try and kill okay, you? Yeah, yeah. It's no, actually not as scary as coming through them doors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, believe it or not. Fantastic. What do they cost, mate? Um, they retail for four thousand seven hundred dollars. Is that all? Four, yeah, well, yeah. Four thousand seven hundred. What does it cost you to make it? Uh, just under two thousand dollars. I know. I've sold them to commercial and domestic applications. So the Melbourne Zoo, racing stables down the peninsula. And what does it carry? A couple of hundred kilos? It's got a gross vehicle capacity of 400 kilograms. Right. If I could give you a rundown on the numbers. Yep. We launched a business in late 2013. Um, by the end of the financial year, 2014, I'd sold $175,000 worth of product and obviously run it at a loss. The second year, 2015, um, we sold $361,000 worth of product, ran at a small loss. By the end of financial year, 2016, uh, we sold $213,000 worth of product, 
We made our first profit of 38,000. Well done. And things were looking good, um, but unfortunately, uh, the dairy industry collapsed around our ears. And we had a 35% uh, loss, uh, drop in milk price overnight. Um, also asked to pay back $150,000. Oh, sorry. This moment could change, change my life. Victorian farmer Peter has invented a ride-on wheelbarrow. His business had just started to gain momentum when the dairy industry collapsed. Now everything is riding on getting a deal from a shark. Tough time. We didn't know how long it was going to last or how bad it was going to get. So the, uh, the decision was made to put Rat Bar on ice. We uh, laid off our permanent staff on the farm. I got back in the dairy. Now the dairy industry is starting to get back, heading in the right direction. It's a tough gig being on the land. And, and see, now back on track, are we going to see Peter focused on the rat burrow? Yes, well, you know, jumping out of farming into manufacturing is like jumping out of the pot into the fire, really. Yeah, he's a little Especially bit. Especially in Australia. Wouldn't you like John Deere to just give you a licence? Oh, you took the words out of my mouth, Andrew. So have you tried? Have you spoken to any of those people? Uh, no, that's why an investor with me would be so helpful. No, right. the avenues, the so, contacts. So if we were an investor, anyone yep. here, it's just a question of getting out there and seeing if someone would like to licence yeah. this and make that's it exactly for you. That's exactly right, yeah. So Peter, you're ripe and ready for a licence deal, without a doubt. I've got a number of companies that, that do licence deals, so we're more than happy to have a, a chat on what that looks like when you're going for negotiations. Today, I'm not going to be a partner. I'm happy to be a supporter, uh, but I'm out. Thanks, Claire. Peter, I think it's great. I mean, you know, what you've done so far um, is amazing. Love you and love the product as, as I do. I'm just not the right partner for you. And I wish you well, but uh, for those reasons, I'm out. No, thanks, Andrew. I'm in Victoria. Yeah. We've got a 100 acre farm full of horses. Yeah. And I'm really happy to, you know, you come visit my farm, I'll visit yours, and we, we can actually talk about the fundamentals of business. So I'm very happy to spend some time with you and to help you try and get to that next level. But I, unfortunately, I can't invest today. That's all right. Oh, I'd, I'd appreciate that, Janine. Um, I do think I could help you. I actually don't think you want our money. You need our contacts right now. So I'm not doing a deal today, but I am introducing you to uh, a potential licensed company. Janine Kementor, you're in Melbourne. I'll introduce you in Sydney and let's see what happens. Thanks, Naomi, thank you. Thanks, Peter. Okay, four sharks are out. Yes. Um, I want to do the deal, except I don't want to own a wheelbarrow company. No, that's fair, I understand So, that. you know, that, that's the weird part. Aside from cash and, and, you know, general business advice, which I think we're all saying we can give, Yeah. it's hard to know where I can add value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you deserve to win. My advice to you is, mate, go and camp on the front door of John Deere and Torrey. In fact, drive that up to the front door. Make a tool of yourself until you speak to the right person if yeah. you need to. Um, but I, I'm out. I, 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 won't, I won't fall in love with the machine and, and buy the equity. Um, but bloody well done. Oh, thanks Enjoy. for your time. It's been a great opportunity. Peter, I'll make you a promise. I'll make a half a dozen calls in the States oh, to all the manufacturers. If we get any success, then maybe we'll talk yeah, again. Yeah, right, that'd be great. So I wish you luck. Appreciate all your time. No, it'll be great. Thanks, Thanks Pete. Good Thanks, to meet you. Thanks yeah. for Cheers. coming on, Pete. Oh, it's really been an absolute thrill to meet all you guys. Thanks very much, Oak. Cheers, buddy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Look after yourself. What a lovely man. I'm going to make a half a dozen phone calls. We'll see what can do. But who wouldn't want to talk to him? He's a lovely personal bloke, you know what I mean? With a great story. Oh, he's gorgeous. I know I didn't do a deal, but uh, 
I, I, I'm feeling good. They, they gave me a lot of good feedback and they do like the product, they just mightn't be up their alley. What a bull rider, how good is that? I know.